We live in a great country, though. I tell you what, these people bitch about our country. This is an awesome country. We got, you realize there's a buffet on every street corner in this country? <laughs> Other people starving. You ever see that starving kid commercial? For eight cents a day, you can feed a starving child. Eight cents a day? That gum, you can't keep a gerbil alive for eight cents a day. <laughs> That gum, I go through 270 bucks a day and I'm on a diet. <laughs> Reading an article in the paper the other day, a fella jumped off some mountain with one of them kites, Batman kites, and it didn't work and he slammed into something and killed him. And it said, diver dies because of freak accident. <laughs> Freak act. That ain't a freak accident. You're, you jumped off a building with a kite on your back. That's a dumbass accident, is what that is. A freak accident. Ain't a freak accident. I'll tell you what a freak accident is. You're down there at the local, you know, stop and shop down there and getting gas, and unbeknownst to you, there's two clowns in a knife fight. And one of them falls and stabs you in the face. <laughs> That's a freak accident right there, all right? <laughs> Read another article one time. This is why I don't like polls. I see an article, they said they polled in Washington, D.C. They polled 2,500 women. Said, now that Bill Clinton's way older, would you sleep with Bill Clinton? Unbelievable. 94% said not again. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. All right. I'll stay. I'll stay. All right. You convinced me. I'm going to hang out for a while. <laughs> Remain seated. Stupid polls. Well, the polls indicate I ain't never been polled. You ever been polled? I have been polled, been polled, been polled, been polled, been polled, been polled. Been polled. There's only one poll I ever trusted. That's the polls I do at my shows. And I done one last night, and I believe this. I pulled all my audience last night. 87% of them said at this point in time during my show, they want their money back. <laughs> I've been, uh, well, he's one of the 13%. 87, 30, yeah, 13% right there. Yeah, right. I know my dad gun math. <laughs> you know, I work a lot of fairs. I love working fairs. It's awesome because I grew up in fairs and I love fairs. What has happened to the clientele at the fairs lately, though? Holy smokes, I was up there the other day. There's a dude walking like he's bleeding from the nose, you know, walking like he got a daggum fart stuck sideways heading down that thing down there. Looked like a Greyhound bus overturned. He came walking in trying to get help or something. I mean, it's unbelievable at these fairs. By the way, anybody ever ride a Greyhound bus? I used to ride them back in the early days of comedy. Holy smokes, only thing slower than a Greyhound bus is the people on the daggum bus. <laughs> They're a good value, though. I went from Sanford, Florida, all the way to Lincoln, Nebraska one time, $49. Oh, man, 119 days. <laughs> Holy smokes. And the big selling point at the time was now with more leg room. What they needed was more headroom so I could have hung myself halfway through the trip. <laughs>